Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to use integration by parts to find the antiderivative of a function. To complete this problem, we'll understand the integration by parts formula, match the pieces of our function to the parts of our formula, and then evaluate the integral. Let's take a look. In this particular video, we've been asked to evaluate the integral of e to the 7x times cosine of 2x dx. Now, since this is an integration by parts problem, the first thing that we need to do is identify in our function a value for u and a value for dv. If we look at the integration by parts formula here, what we can see is that it tells us is that if we're taking the integral of u times dv, then we can set that equal to u times v minus the integral of v times du. So what we have to first identify is a value for u and a value for dv, because the integral over here on the left-hand side of our formula is representing the integral that we're taking here. So we have to identify which part of this function here will be u and which part will be dv. Notice that there are no other parts of this integral, so we have to assign this entire integral, including the dx, to u and dv somehow. Now, for this particular problem, I'll go ahead and say that whenever you have the exponential function, whenever you have e here, multiplied by a trigonometric function, your best bet will be to assign u to the trigonometric function and dv to the exponential function. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say that u is equal to cosine of 2x, and that means since u is equal to cosine of 2x, that dv here, the other part of the integral, has to include everything else in our integral, which would be e to the 7x and dx. So we'll say that dv is equal to e to the 7x dx. One thing to note here is that dx will always be here with your dv. So now we need to, since we have u and dv, we need to take the derivative of u to find du, and we need to take the integral of dv to find v. So the next thing that we have to do now that we have u and dv is take the derivative of u to get du and the integral or the antiderivative of dv to find v. So taking the derivative of u, we'll call it du. Remember that the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and we'll be using chain rule because cosine is our outside function and 2x is our inside function. So we'll take the derivative of the outside function and get negative sine of 2x, but then chain rule tells us that we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So we'll be multiplying that by 2, and what we end up with is negative 2 sine of 2x. This 2 out in front here in the uh, coefficient coming as a result of the application of chain rule multiplying by the derivative of 2x. So that's our derivative and of course we need to remember to add dx here whenever we take the derivative. Now we need to take the integral of dv to find v. So we'll say that v is equal to, when we take the integral of e to the 7x, remember that when we take the, the integral of an exponential here, we have to divide by the coefficient here on the x. So we're going to end up with 1 7th e to the 7x, and that will be our value for v. So now that we've found each of those four values, we can go ahead and plug them into our integration by parts formula. So we'll say that the integral of our original function here, so e to the 7x, cosine of 2x dx will be equal to the right hand side here of our formula so uv minus the integral of v du and we're going to just be grabbing those values straight from the values we calculated here so u times v when we multiply u and v together we'll get 1 7th e to the 7x which is the value for v times u cosine of 2x and I just reordered those terms so that we didn't have to simplify them later. So that's u times v minus the integral of v du. So v 1 7th e to the 7x and du here. So notice we have the coefficients negative two 
and positive one seventh. So when we multiply those together, we'll get negative two se negative two sevenths. So we'll say negative two sevenths times e to the seven x sine of two x dx. So that's the application of our integration by parts formula. Now we need to go ahead and simplify this. So what we'll do is we'll just pull the negative 2 sevenths out in front of our integral. And what we'll end up with, we have a negative sign here and a negative sign here that will cancel. So we'll get positive 2 sevenths times the integral of e to the 7x sine of 2x dx. And your first thought might be that we haven't made very much progress, but whenever you have an exponential times a trigonometric function and you're using integration by parts to take the integral, what will often happen is you'll need to end up applying integration by parts twice, and you'll see how this is going to work out in the end. But we're going to have to go ahead and apply integration by parts again, and we're going to do the same thing we did before, where we set u equal to the trigonometric function and dv equal to the exponential function. So here we'll say that u is equal to sine of 2x and therefore we know that dv must be equal to the rest of it which will be e to the 7x times dx. When we take the derivative of u to get du we know that the derivative of sine is cosine, so we'll get cosine of 2x, but remember chain rule tells us that we have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 2x, the derivative of which is 2, so our derivative will be 2 cosine of 2x times dx. And we take the integral of dv to find v, and again, we've already done this, we did the same thing up here, we know that the integral is 1 7th e to the 7x. So now that we've assigned these values, we can go ahead and plug in again. So what's going to be interesting about this, we'll go ahead and rewrite the integral over here on our left-hand side. So cosine of 2x dx is equal to, what we're going to be plugging in for is the is just the integral above. So we'll have e to the 7x cosine of 2x plus 2 sevenths and now the substitution we're making is just for the integral here this whole thing right so we're going to plug in the values of uh, u du v and dv just for the integral here using this formula so we're going to basically make the substitution here like this so we'll say 2 sevenths and draw big parentheses and now we're going to plug in u v minus the integral of v du so u times v will give us 1 7th e to the 7x sine of 2x minus the integral of v du. So what, um, v here times du, notice we have the coefficients 2 and 1 7th. So that's a 2 7th, and we can actually pull that out in front of the integral here as a coefficient. On the inside, what we'll be left with is the rest of v here, the e to the 7x, and the rest of the du, which is cosine 2x dx, so times cosine of 2x dx, and then we can go ahead and close our parentheses. We notice that we have to multiply 2 sevenths through this whole formula here. Now, as you can see, I've just copied the left-hand side here and the beginning of the right-hand side, and now we're going to be distributing this 2 sevenths across both of these values here. So we have 2 sevenths times 1 seventh, which will give us 2 over 49. So 2 over 49 times e to the 7x sine of 2x, and then we have 2 sevenths times a negative 2 sevenths will give us a negative 4 over 49 times the integral of e to the 7x cosine of 2x dx. And here's why this works out so well. What you have to notice now, you might be discouraged because you think we ended up right back where we started. We have e to the, seven, the integral of e to the 7x cosine of 2x dx 
which is exactly the integral that we started with. So it seems like we've made no progress and we've almost made this more complicated. When, in fact, because we have the same integral over here on the right side that we do on the left-hand side, we can go ahead and add this entire negative 4 over 49 times the integral here. We can go ahead and add that over the left-hand side. So imagine you've got 4 over 49 here. Let's make a common denominator and multiply the left-hand side over here by 49 over 49. It's the same as multiplying by 1, right? But now we can add this entire value to both sides. So when we add 4 49ths times the integral here to both sides, the value over here on the right-hand side will go away. This whole value will go away when we add it to both sides. And on the left-hand side here, we'll be left with 49 plus 4, which gives us 53 over 49 times the integral of e to the 7x cosine of 2x dx. And on the right-hand side, we're just left with everything besides the integral. Now the last thing we need to do in order to solve for the integral, right, we're trying to find this value here, right, the integral of e to the 7x cosine of 2x dx, and we have that right here. So in order to solve for it, all we have to do is divide both sides by 53 over 49. This coefficient goes away, and we've solved for our integral. So instead of dividing both sides by 53 over 49, we'll go ahead and multiply both sides by 49 over 53 to cancel out what we have here on the left-hand side. What we're left with here is 49 over 53 times 1 7th, and for our second term here, 49 over 53 times 2 over 49 e to the 7x sine x. Our final step is to simplify. The 7 in the denominator here will cancel, and we'll just be left with 7 here in the numerator. So we'll get 7 over 53 e to the 7x times cosine of 2x. Plus, here obviously we'll get the 49s to cancel, and we'll be left with 2 over 53 e to the 7x times sine of 2x. And at this point, we can leave our answer this way, or you can choose to factor out 1 over 53 times e to the 7x. So if we factor this out to try to simplify our answer, 1 over 53 times e to the 7x, what we'll be left with in our first term here is just 7 cosine of 2x plus 2 times sine of 2x. And at this point, we hadn't included it earlier because we were doing a lot of finagling and moving things around, but at this point we have to remember because we did take an integral to go ahead and add plus c to account for our constant of integration. And that's it. That's your final answer. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.